What's up guys, Zinigami here. Genshin Impact has absolutely gotten me by the nads. I am so, so hyped. I'm so, so into it. Find me live on twitch.tv slash Zinigami every single day. I've been streaming it for way too long, but here are seven tips and tricks that you might not know or you might already know. Let me know if you knew about this before. Let me know if you didn't. And if you have any other tips to share with me in the community, please let me know in the comments down below or hang out with us live on twitch.tv slash Zinigami once again or on Discord. But let's look at the first one. Those glowing Sealy can be hard to find around the world, but did you know if you use elemental vision, you actually can see where they are. By pressing the middle mouse button, you can see the little blue trails like that right there that are coming out of the podium. So you find a podium, but you can't find out where the spirit is. Try using elemental vision so that way you can possibly find an easier route to it. Tip number two, you can actually add EXP books faster by holding down the plus arrow whenever you're adding them. So if you hold down the mouse button, it will eventually start adding them in multiples of 10. Tip number three, there are materials in the world of Genshin Impact that take longer to respawn than others. Items that are evolution items for characters such as the Jaeyoung Chilies and ores, iron ores, jade ores, white iron ores. These take two days to respawn versus the easily collectible materials like wheat that takes only one day to respawn. Uh, if you want to know which ones are in the two days, these ones on that second area there that are used for character ascensions, the chilies, the grass, mushrooms, lilies, and more, all take a two-day timer. Tip number four, and one of my favorites, is you actually can loot faster by using the mouse wheel. You can see here that I'm spamming the loot key just by opening that regularly, but if you scroll down before looting, you actually can loot faster. Here's a side-by-side -side where I start the looting at the same time. You can see me finishing looting faster on the right side first. The left side, again, is just spamming the F key. The right side is scrolling down before spamming the F key. And here's another example where I open up the chest beforehand and I start looting at the same time. You can see here I finish way faster. Tip number five is you actually can mine in a lot of different ways. Mining is going to be done a lot in Genshin Impact to get all these ores. And if you're just using a regular character with a melee weapon, then you're going to have a hard time doing it. Two-handed weapons like the claymores and clubs will mine a lot faster than pole arms and single-handed swords. So bring a claymore character we know about. You also can use geo abilities like the geo traveler's ability who can do a lot of damage to things like the white iron chunks. You can also use any characters with explosives. Explosive abilities, even Amber's battle bunny will actually explode and deal damage to, again to the ores like these white iron chunks, actually destroying them in one shot. Tip number six, using artifacts to power up another artifact actually keeps about 85% of the experience of the previous artifact. So if you're worried about leveling up your artifacts and investing too heavily early on, you can see here that I'm using a plus four artifact to power up into a plus four artifact and we're keeping basically all the EXP. So don't be too worried about finding that perfect piece of gear before investing. And finally, tip number seven, taller characters are better than shorter characters. And they're actually just faster at climbing, running, walking, everything basically. I'm going to be comparing a bunch of Lisa and Fischl movements here. You can see Lisa has finished climbing up to the top. Here we're walking to the front of Mondstadt. And Lisa is going to consistently beat Fischl by just a tiny percent. They're maybe like 10% faster. And this is actually based off of the camera height whenever you're swapping between characters. So if you notice a character uh, whenever you swamp to them that the camera actually moves upwards or downwards That's how you can tell if the character is a taller or a shorter character You can see here. She's beating Fischl in everything from walking to Sprinting and even to dashing you can see here that Lisa actually dashes just a little bit farther than Fischl does And that's it for this video for me. This is me trying a lot of new things here in this video It's a lot faster pace than I normally did I don't really know if I am comfortable doing it in this way. There's some things I can do to definitely improve with this new style of YouTube video, but let me know what you thought about it. I am trying a lot of new things, so still a little shaky on how I like to have things done, still working on the pacing and stuff like that, but let me know again what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. 
My name's been Zinigami, and y'all stay beautiful. Thank you.